Broadcasting live from the south side of sunny Mount Hope, Wisconsin. It's the last show on Earth with Nate Chapel. Tonight we will, we will, we have like so much fun. It's going to be so cool. And now, the boy with the freshest face in late night, the last kid on Earth, Nate Chapel. Johnny? Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the coolest, most awesome, fun show in the world, the last show on Earth. So we've had some people asking, why is the show? They're um, whispering because we were in the library at school. Why is the show on so early? I thought it was supposed to be a late night show. And I want to take this chance to respond. First of all, be quiet, Brad. You're going to get us in trouble. And second of all, Randy's bedtime is 8 o'clock. That's why we only have him do the enunciating. He's still got to take a bath and brush his face. <laughs> got you good, Randall. So, I finally made it into middle school, and it's pretty neat. I have a locker now, so that's fun. You guys ever, um, you guys ever stack someone's locker? Like you set all their books and stuff up so that when they open their locker, everything falls out all over? <laughs> yeah, people do that to me all the time. It's really funny. But better than Mrs. Alpenalp, am I right? <laughs> this kid knows what I'm talking about. She smells like cough syrup and old paper. At first, I was afraid they'd shove me into the lockers, but let's get real. I wish I could fit into those lockers. But no, unlike my jeans and me, these lockers are not husky. So let's see, you guys been reading the newspaper at all? Apparently, sources report that Kelvin has obtained a wagon and his tiger is already in that wagon. More as the story develops. So, uh, I'm still afraid of the dark. Uh, are you guys, are you guys still afraid of the dark? Uh, yeah, and you know why? Because it's freaking scary, that's why. I mean, look, I don't know about you, but I do not have the life experience to be sure that there aren't any monsters lurking around in there. Oh, what's that you say, Robert Stack, host of Unsolved Mysteries? Sometimes there are? Oh, what's that you say, Apocalypse Now, that Dad accidentally left playing when he fell asleep? It's much worse than I ever imagined? Oh, great. Hey. Hey, look what I can do. Watch. Where's my thumb? It's falling off. Anyway, one time when I was in first grade, my dad was driving me to school. I think he had a Javelin or a Lamborghini or a Chevette. And my seatbelt was stuck too big. You know what I mean? It was too big. And, and... And I had to make it small again, so I opened up the door, the car door, because that's how you made the thing go into the other thing. And right when I did that, my dad took a super hard right, no, left turn, like squealed the tires, and I flew out of the car, and I did like three flips, and I landed on my feet. I got back into the car, and my dad laughed and said, Ha ha ha, shoot, I almost got you. And I was like, no, Dad, you won't get me, because I'm way more smart and athletic hey, and handsome. guys. What are you guys doing in here? One of your little skits? Dad, we're doing a semi-fictional late-night comedy talk show, and I'm the host. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Big Shot host. Here's Nady. Randy's the announcer. Well, I hope you're plenty announced already, because Randall's mom is here to pick him up. Aw, she's early! Well, son, time is a human, human construct. construct. I know, I know. Okay, I'll let you guys get back to your little radio show. It's not a radio show! Okay, roger that. Over and out. Oh, what the heck? My dad is so dorky, Michael Dukakis voted for him. When I'm finally old enough to vote, I'll be voting for Weird Al Yankovic. But for now, I vote yes to this morning affirmation. 
Lyman security guard Carl Lewis with today's morning affirmation. If you can't reach your toothpaste today, don't worry about it. It's not like you're going to be kissing anybody for the next 10 years. Welcome to my Week in Review. I'm Nate Chappell, and this is my week. On Thursday, I imagine myself with a thick, long, curly rat tail. Oh, that's super cool. I'm definitely going to do it. The ladies will love it just like they love my impressions. Well, I'm Ronald Reagan. On Friday, I stumbled across this photo taken on my seventh birthday. It made me long for those days. So many sleeps ago. Things were simpler, slower. Nobody had pubes yet. I, also, I was the king of a small island nation and adored by all. The Wapani Wu are my real family. On Saturday, I figured out why the men in my family have such formidable necks. Quite a workout supporting the weight of these giant glasses all day. That's my week in review on May Chapel saying my week was better than your week. The Big Adventures of Little Nate and Mike, the mid-season replacement that's making a big splash. The guys might be little, but their adventures are anything but. What they lack in mass, they make up for in laughs. The Big Adventures of Little Nate and Mike, only on Wolf Out Television. Wolf Out Television presents Eddie. The world's first ever live claymation television show. Watch the magic as it happens, live. Eddie's one cool cat. I've heard he can be a bit catty. But Eddie says he's just misunderstood. One thing's for sure, this kitten likes to scratch. Eddie. Series premieres Saturday, July 19th, 8 p.m. to Tuesday, July 22nd, 4 p.m. Only on Wolf Out Television. This is the world-renowned ninja. No. This is the world-renowned ninja Wolfbane. His year-long mission has been to seek and destroy the evil tyrant ruling over the Tyrania galaxy, Trendok. His training complete, it's now time for him to begin his journey. But Papa, I will miss you. And I will miss you, son. Come with you. No, son. It is too dangerous. I must go alone. How long will you be gone? As long as it takes, son. As long as it takes. Wolfbane would have some long and harrowing journeys ahead of him through space and time. At last, he 
makes it to his spaceship, the Silver Arrow. Fire and smoke billow out as the Silver Arrow blasts off into outer space. Wolfbane ponders the vastness of his universe. The universe is infinity big and takes a very long time to travel through. It is a great fortune that my people exist outside of time. Because as my father taught me, time is a human construct. My trusty silver arrow, it's space time. Time thrusters activate. Ah! After just a few minutes, Wolfbane arrives at planet Zarkon. I'm coming to pay you a visit, Trendok. But take the coffee off. I'm not staying. Oh no! It's a giant Zarkonian tiger! Of course I know that Zarkonian tigers have terrible eyesight. So as long as I pass quietly, I should be safe. Good thing I am a world-renowned ninja. Trendok, I know you're in here. Come out. Fight like a man. I am not a man. I am a god. <laughs> you're a god-darned monster. And I've come to eliminate you. I've been expecting you. Looks like you're not trending anymore. <sighs> Tis a good day, inhabitants of Tyrania, for Trendok has been defeated, and I have been elected your new king. Long live, Long live the king! king. Long, Long live, live the king! king. It's the Tiny Little Talk Show with Patrick. Check out the little show that's a big deal. Patrick might be little, but he asks the big questions. In the small talk show world, Patrick's kind of a big deal. Small guests with big personalities. It's the Tiny Little Talk Show, only on Wolf Out TV. Pops would spend a lot of nights just tinkering alone, cooking up experiments for purposes unknown. I found out he'd been secretly inventing how to clone. When upon success he yelled, I've done it, to the rotary telephone. So following the mug's success, Pops took a crack at me. Well, that was 30 years ago. We're close as close can be. Perhaps so close, I'd say, and surely he'd agree, that I thank Pops most every day for not making number three. Hey, I like your beard. Thanks, I like your face. Thanks. Wolf Out TV is proud to serve you up a brand new sitcom that has 100% of your daily recommended laughter. These fully organic pals are far from the farm. And they know that sometimes you gotta laugh to keep from getting steamed. The Vegetables, coming really soon to Wolf Out TV. Welcome back to episode Kids of the Last Show on Earth. 
Today's guest comes all the way from my imagination. Boys and girls, help me recommend, welcome my imaginary friend Patrick. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh yeah, for sure. So what's it like being an imaginary friend? Actually, I'm not imaginary. You're not? I knew it! No way, dude. You're my imaginary friend. I am? Well, well imaginary acquaintance, at least. Ouch, that stings. You stabbed me a bunch of times. I was sewing you, Patrick. I took what was but a figment of my overactive imagination and an old pillowcase I stole from my friend Mike's house and some thread and created you. Boring. Okay, well, what do you want to talk about? Why don't you have any real friends? I do. Like Robbie and Alex. Alex is a cat. So what? Goofy is a dog. She's my other friend. What about Mommy and Daddy? Yeah, them too. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. You're just a nerd. I guess maybe I have a hard time making friends because I have a hard time letting people in. I have walls that I built around me to protect myself from other people thinking I'm too short or too fat or too ugly. I make jokes so people won't see how sad I am. Maybe or maybe because you're such a... <laughs> He was not. <laughs> At least I don't look like a hideous monster. Yeah, you do. Plus, I make this fabric look good. Well, that's all the time we have for our guest segment. Hey, it's your imagination. Well, what's not my imagination is this episode of the show that's like Matlock, but with a lunching lawyer. It's Nathan Hampers, attorney at lunch. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the Juice Bar, what is a kai berry? Hey, look, it's a tail. <laughs> so we're gonna play pill, pill, pin the tail on the John key, and that's just like pull the, pin the tail on the donkey, except that it's a donkey with Johnny's head. <laughs> Look at him. So we're trying to get it on here. That's Johnny's butt. <laughs> um, so let's have uh, let's have Vivi go first. This is Vivi Olson. She's just a girl that I live next to. Okay, uh, here let's, let's put this on you. Perfect. Okay, let's spin you around. One, two, two and a half. There you go, you're facing the right direction. Go ahead. See how she does. Whoa, cool. That's gonna be hard to beat. You can take it off if you want. Look at how good you did. Alright! Okay, um, Johnny, Johnny, you're gonna go next. Come on out. Okay, Johnny, put this on. Your head's so small. Okay, you spin him around. Okay, Johnny, you're facing the right way. Safety pin. Safety third. Okay, spin me around. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this way. Where's Johnny? <laughs> Bring that little butt over here. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, we got a pretty good grouping, but looks like Vivian's victorioso! Cool! Cool, good game! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's been our show. I want to thank my imaginary friend, Patrick, for coming on the show tonight. And also a big thanks to the most awesome, super cool pals a kid could have! Vivi Olson and Johnny Fisher! Finn Hammond and Tyler Enstrud made the songs for tonight's show. Check out Tyler and his elementary school band, the Go Dodgers! And look for Finn being born just about... now. Coming up next, Wolf Up TV presents the movie that started it all! Wolfbane, Chapter 1. For more episodes of this show, wait until the future and type in 58008 on a calculator, then turn it upside down to see it spell the word boobs. <laughs> we are wolfout.tv in the library, so let your fingers do the walking through that catalog. Thanks for watching us tonight, creeps, and remember that we're watching you too. And as John Cleese said in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, there are some who call me Tim. This is the world-renowned ninja, Wolfbane. His year-long mission has been to seek and destroy the evil tyrant ruling Tyrania. Here he is, climbing the cliffs of mortality. Here he is entering the caves at the top of the cliff. Ah, the pit of Quasar. Wolfbane senses battle on the other side of this wall. He finally reaches his destination, the palace, which is guarded by the mighty beast, Kui Shu. The Kui Shu is not off the bridge into the pit surrounding the castle. He finds the secret door into the palace and is now ascending the stairs. I am the mighty Wolfbane. I've come to destroy you. <laughs> Don't run away! Fight like a man! I have finally brought an end to your terrible reign. <laughs> the triumphant King Wolfbane ruled over the land for many years until he gave the land to his son, Kaitro. Oh my god, Billy, seems like that took forever, right? Whoo wee! What? What did you say? Don't make me do this.
God. Good night. And good nachos.